baby. Sarah Cooper became a TikTok superstar for her inspired take on the guy who's on his way out of the White House. And now she is branching out in a new comedy special I had fun being part of. It's called Everything's Fine. <laughs> Please welcome the fabulous Sarah Cooper. Hey, welcome to The Hi. View, Sarah Cooper. Thank you so much, Whoopi Goldberg. Thank you. You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. You spent a lot of time with words, the words of you know who, uh, coming out of your mouth. And when you started making these videos, uh, what was your reaction having done all of those videos and what was your reaction to <laughs> hearing he lost? Uh, well, I mean, hearing he lost <laughs> was such a good feeling. I mean, I was w watching Fox News because I wanted to see Fox News say President Biden. That was going to be something that was going to make me feel so happy. <laughs> but they weren't announcing it. And all of a sudden, I heard uh, right. pots and pans banging and screaming and cowbells outside my window. And then I said to right. my husband, something happened, something happened. So we changed the channel. And sure enough, Biden had been announced uh, the president-elect. <laughs> right. And... We were so happy because this week has been a roller coaster. I went to sleep Tuesday night, terrified, just so sad, just thinking it was over. And then by Saturday, it was yeah. just euphoric. And I knew everyone was going to be happy, but I didn't realize they were going to be dancing in the streets happy. I didn't realize we were going to be this happy, you know, this, yeah. you know, excited that <laughs> we had won. Yeah. I mean, it was such a good feeling. I mean, and I'm so happy, too, because people are like, oh, he's going to be gone and you'll be out of a job. But the thing is, if he had won, I think then I would be out of a job. These videos wouldn't be funny anymore. I think they would have absolutely right. lost right. their charm if he had won, you know? Right. I think you have a really good point there, Sarah. Yeah. You know, and I also think that imagine how miserable he was watching those people in the street cheering for Joe Biden. He would have killed for yeah. that. You know, but anyway, yeah. you know, let's talk about you for a second because you're a stand up comedian, uh, but you started making these videos when you were locked down in quarantine, like the rest of us. There are other Trump impressionists out there, lip syncers, what have you, but you're the one, you're the one getting the attention and getting all the millions of views. Do you have any idea why that could be? Um, the number one thing I think is that people hate seeing his face. They hate Trump so much that if you try to look like him and really try to sound like him, people have a visceral, like, I don't like that. You can't enjoy it. You can't laugh. Um, and so people wrote to me all the time and they said, I love that you make no attempt to look like him. You don't do the makeup, the hair, the tie, none of that. And it's just his voice coming out of your, your mouth. And so they can laugh. They can actually laugh because I've actually shown how ridiculous he sounds. For the first time, people can see how ridiculous he sounds. And so um, someone called it reverse right. mansplaining, which was, I think, a great term because <laughs> he's mansplaining to us and then I'm sort of mansplaining back to him how stupid he sounds. Uh -huh. um, and I think people just right. like that. It was just a relief, yeah. Right. <laughs> True. Well, you have a new Netflix special called Everything's Fine. And you include some of your Trump lip syncs in there, but there's just a lot of other really sensational, funny stuff as well. What can your uh, fans expect to see? Uh, well, I don't like to tell anybody to expect anything because then, you know, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> but if I will say one thing, it would be Whoopi Goldberg's in it. So you have to check it out just for that. Um, and it's a bunch of sketches it's a it's a loose story about a morning show host who loses her mind um who's just overwhelmed with news she keeps having to deliver the news with a smile on her face even though everything is falling apart my rudolph plays a a weather woman who absolutely loses it while uh telling us that there's going to be 125 degree weather tomorrow and you better wear a jacket because you might just burn up um in the sun uh so it's it's, it's silly it's fun it's weird um, I would I would say just watch it with a clean slate, not knowing what to expect. But it's 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 something that I just wanted to create sort of a time capsule of what this year was, which was basically like what you thought was going to happen is not what happened. And so that's kind of what this special is.
You know, when I'm looking at you, your little dog, your little doggy's going around, and I'm thinking we're going to have pets back in the White House now because Joe Biden has two dogs. It's like so nice to have dogs back in the White House, and I mean four-legged ones at this point. So um, yeah. the special <laughs> is directed by Natasha Leon, and you have a star-studded cast, including Maya Rudolph, Helen Mirren, John Hammer, Marissa Tomei, Fred Armisen, and a voice people might recognize in this clip. You realize it's not, not you losing your mind. It's, it's everyone else. Take a look. How'd you get in here? Should uh, really get back to the desk. Back to the desk, Sarah Cooper. Is she your first name? Yeah, battle. I think I should go home. What you gonna do, Satan? You know, we've tangled before, and you know what happened. It's Whoopi Goldberg talking to you now. What you gonna do? Oh my God, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> well, <laughs> I recognize that voice. Um, this, this isn't the only time we get to hear Whoopi's voice. How did, how did you end up collaborating on this? Um, well, we wanted Whoopi's voice for uh, a, a part of the special called The Karens, which is uh, telling the history of uh, so-called Karens in our in our nation, all the way back to Adam and Eve when they were trying to eat an apple. And she was like, why are they taking that snake's apple, you know, um, off in the corner? Uh, and we just, we, we love the idea of kind of flipping it on its head and having Whoopi Goldberg narrate this sort of Ken Burns-style documentary, because the whole special is all about flipping things and, and giving you something that you didn't really see coming. You know, to have Helen Mirren, you know, lip syncing Billy Bush, you know, you don't see you don't see that coming. And so I think that <laughs> having Whoopi yeah. in there narrating this was just something that was just perfect for that. Well, can I tell you, as a Karen, I appreciated it, because I'm actually <laughs> a Karen, too. So uh, <laughs> it was nice for me to get a Zoom boom in there on those Karens. Sarah Cooper, you are a pleasure, and it's an honor talking to you. You're the special, Everything is Fine, is streaming now on Netflix.